The Tigers are headed to Charleston, and it's not for a CAA matchup. The Tiger Basketball Report brought to you by the Green Turtles starts now. Welcome to another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. I'm your host, Gio Marikas, along with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scarium. Coach the Tigers headed to Charleston, South Carolina for the second time to play in the uh, Charleston Classic. And kind of, it, it hasn't been that far apart. It's only been, what, about four years? How did the Tigers get back into this so quickly? So it's uh, what they call an M MTE, one of those early season tournaments. Um, you can only play in the same MTE once every four years, so... This is one of the bigger ones. ESPN produces a, a handful of these ones, uh, you know, whether it's in Charleston or Myrtle Beach or Orlando, Anaheim, Hawaii. So this is a big opportunity for us. Our league, this is the one, every conference has to sponsor one of these. Our, our league sponsors this one. So, um, you know, we're fortunate to get back into it. Um, we're excited about it. You know, it's, it's also, to me, you're, you're playing on you know, national TV games, so you get a great chance to showcase your, your university and, and your athletics and your men's basketball. You, you just don't get a lot of those opportunities, never as many as you like. And certainly basketball provides a, a, a lot of those. And then the teams we play, this is what you, you hope for when you get in the NCAA tournament, playing you know, uh, support, you know, bigger schools on neutral courts. Um, we'd love to get Xavier or Florida or someone to come here and welcome that it, it's not easy to do no so you get a chance to play brand name schools great programs you, you, get, you got to take those opportunities because once again it helps you later on sure and and the other thing is i mean you were on national television last week against florida you're going to be on three times this week in charleston i mean that's four times at towson university is is on national television in, yeah, a, it's in an eight-day period. It's exciting, especially if we can have some success. You know, um, like I said, we have an awesome university. You know that. Everyone knows that that's here. But, you know, I think we're one of the best-kept secrets that are out there. You come on our place and you see it and what great academics and leadership and things we have to offer. It's, it's, it's really exciting. So we, we want to go down there and play really hard and play well and try to represent our great university. All right, your first matchup is against Xavier, and they're off to a great start. They're a top-15 team. Uh, Marshall Jones and Scruggs all averaging in double digits. What is it when you look at Xavier? What do you see? I mean, Xavier's a brand name, and when you talk about tradition and success in college basketball, and you know, Travis Steele slid over from the assistant seat to the head seat, and they haven't missed a beat at all. And not surprising, they do an excellent job. They they guard you. Um, they've got you know typical Big East toughness and and talent. Uh, Marshall, Jones, Scruggs, good and four good returning upperclassmen. Um, you know, certainly a team that can win the Big East and, you know, get very far in the NCAA tournament. So, you know, we got to take care of the basketball against a team like that. If they get out in transition, they'll, they'll murder you. Um, and then, you know, you gotta, can you keep them out of the lane? Can you keep them off the glass? Um, they have good flow to what they do. They, 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 there's not a lot of weaknesses to their team. It's a, it's a, like I said, it's a tremendous opportunity for us. This is a tournament where you can't show any weaknesses because you've got to play three games in four days. So it's Thursday, Friday, Sunday. We don't know who you're going to play yet on Sunday, but we do know you're going to play either Buffalo or UConn on uh, Friday. Buffalo last year had a tremendous season. UConn just beat Florida yesterday. So you're going to be playing another quality team come Friday. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, look at Buffalo did last year. They, they had the, the mid-major dream season and... You know, UConn on the Danny Hurley, obviously going back to the Big East. They're another brand name. You know, I, I you know, one of the things that 
when you're getting ready for these games, you say to yourself, oh my God, why did you, you know, schedule, but, schedule this. But then I, I know how excited our guys are and I have great belief in our group. And then, you know, it also gets me excited for our, our program in our university that we get these type of opportunities. That's not something, if you look at the history of Towson basketball, that we have, a, have had a lot of these opportunities. And, you know, to play Xavier or UConn, Buffalo, Florida, Miami, St. Joe's, Missouri State. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a great, great tournament. Um, and, you know, we're going to find out a lot more about ourselves, Spiro. So you've got back-to-back -back games on Thursday and Friday, then you have a day off Saturday, play Sunday. Uh, you've talked about your depth. This is where that could come in because teams are going to get worn down come Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I, I, and I think if we get nine guys, that's going to be who we are. That's a, that's a great amount. Uh, we trust all of them and all good players. You know, it's also, like I said, the, the CA tournaments will be three games in three days. This is three and four days. So it gives our guys a little bit of a test run of kind of what to expect come, come March. All right, so the Tigers will take on Xavier on Thursday, 7 p.m. Coach, can you name a famous alum from Xavier? I can. Can you? You can? Yes, can you? Give me one. You give me one first. I couldn't come up with one. A famous alum for Xavier? Oh, I mean, where do you start? Tons. Tons of them. Who? Tons of them. What are you, an owl? Who? <laughs> They've got how many? A ton of NBA guys from Xavier. Ton of NBA guys. Are Frank Robinson spent the semester there. Ton of NBA players from, from Xavier Spiro. John Boehner. That's the best I can do. But he's not even in Congress anymore. Anyway, the Tigers will take on Xavier Thursday at 7 o'clock. Brandon Sachs will be filling in for me this week, and uh, he'll have the call for you starting at 645 on CBS Sports Radio 1300 and TowsonTigers.com. For the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary, who, when he has a conversation with the Xavier staff, will find out who is famous that went to Xavier, and he'll bring that report back to us next week for another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. As always, go Tigers.